Hi, I'm Kevin Bennington at Your Local Caterer Kitchen. Today we're going to show you how to make a complete meal and make all of the parts come together at the same time. We're going to make a meal for 20 people consisting of chicken piccata, garlic mashed potatoes, green beans almondine, and Caesar salad. Of course, timing is everything. We start with the part of your menu that takes the longest. Today's menu, that's going to be the mashed potatoes. I've chosen red potatoes today because I don't have to peel them. We can just mash them with the peels on. What I also do is I start with hot water from the tap so it takes less time to cook on the stove. We turn that on high so it can start cooking as fast as possible. This should take probably about 35-40 minutes. Part of what you do to make the timing better for your big party is you make sure that as many items as possible is already pre-prepped. In this case, I prepped the uh, flour that I'll be dipping the chicken in, uh, some lemon juice that I'll be uh, using to cook the chicken piccata. I've already got out the butter, the milk for the potatoes, the butter for the potatoes, and the croutons for the Caesar salad. Next, what we do is we have to cut the chicken. I've already pre-cut some of the chicken, but I'll show you how to do it. What you do is you go to the store and you get some nice, fat, juicy chicken breasts that are about, oh, about 10 ounces, and you cut them in half lengthwise. Like this. And you put them in a pan, and you get them ready so you can cook them all simultaneously in the biggest pan that you've got at home. Okay, to start cooking the chicken piccata, of course, we start with butter, which will melt in our big pan. It's uh, big enough to hold all 20 pieces of chicken. By the way, did I mention we're going to cook for 20 people today? Now that I've melted the butter, what I'm going to do is add lemon juice to the uh, mixture with, for the chicken piccata. What I've done is I've cut about eight lemons to make about two cups of lemon juice uh, for our 20 pieces of chicken. Depending on your taste, you can use less or more lemon juice. Okay, we've cut these pieces of chicken all about the same size. You want them to be uh, consistently the same size so they'll cook at the same time. Next is what we do is we dredge the chicken in flour and salt, just a pinch of salt. We'll do all 20 of these. While we're doing this, of course, the lemon and the butter is heating up a little bit more, so it will saute properly. Next, we place the pieces of chicken in the saute pan. What you'll see as you do this is you've got enough butter and lemon juice to actually cover about half of the thickness of the chicken. That's a good thing. That helps to make sure the flavors cook into the pieces of chicken. While we're waiting for the chicken to cook on the first side before we flip it, what we now do is we put the green beans in boiling water. In order to feed your 20 friends, it takes about five pounds of green beans. That's about four ounces per person. What I've done is just put five pounds of fresh frozen green beans into the boiling water. It'll take about 15 minutes for it to come back to a boil and be ready to take off the stove. Now it's time to flip our chicken. I've just flipped the chicken for the first time after it cooked for about six or seven minutes in the butter and lemon juice. You want to have about a quarter of an inch of butter and lemon juice on the bottom of the pan, which keeps the chicken from browning. We want the chicken to be as tender as possible when we serve this to your 20 guests. 
As the chicken was finishing cooking on the second side, we added capers to the mix. Uh, these had to cook for about four or five minutes. It actually took the chicken itself about eight to 10 minutes to finish on the second side. When it was finished, I spooned the capers out on top of all the pieces of chicken. It's gonna take another few minutes for the potatoes and the green beans to finish. Uh, while we're waiting, I'm going to cover this with plastic wrap and aluminum foil and stick it in the oven at about 140 degrees. Okay, the potatoes have boiled now. I've taken them off of the stove, drained them, drained all the hot water off of it, and getting ready to add some butter, two sticks of butter, about two cups of milk, A little bit of pepper, a little bit of salt, and now we mash with the caterer's favorite tool, the large masher. Like I said, the beauty of these nice little red potatoes is you don't have to peel them. There's a lot of nutrition in the skin, and it really looks nice on the plate. Last on our menu is the green beans. They're just about finished boiling. Uh, while we're waiting on that final few minutes, we're going to cut up the romaine for the Caesar salad. I've chosen to get whole heads of romaine, which I cut off the top part, which is normally a little bit brown, and the bottom root of the plant. After we've cut up the romaine, you then use some homemade Caesar salad dressing, or you can just use some Caesar salad dressing you buy at your local grocery store. In this case, I'm using about two cups. I then add a little bit of Parmesan cheese just to give it an extra cheesy flavor. But then we mix it together. You don't want to have too much salad dressing, otherwise it'll get limp fairly quickly. And last but not least, you add a few croutons. I like croutons, let's see, add more. And voila, we have our Caesar salad. The green beans are finished. They're tender, but it's still a little bit crunchy. Uh, don't want to cook them for too long. You don't want to get them too soft. Uh, I took them over to the sink and I strained the water off of it. Now we're ready to flavor them just a bit. What I use for green beans almondine is I take some melted butter. I pour it in a pan, big bowl. I put in a little bit of pepper. About twice as much salt. Probably we're talking about a half a teaspoon of pepper and a teaspoon of salt or so. We slosh that around a little bit. Then we take the green beans. And you can stir them at home or you can flip them like this. Pour them into our container for service. And then we put our slivered or sliced almonds on top. Voila! Green beans almondine for 20. Now wasn't that easy? In the short amount of time, I've shown you how to make a lovely meal for 20. Chicken piccata, green beans almondine, mashed potatoes, and Caesar salad. Whether you're making a meal for four at home or attempting to cater a meal for 20, let Catering University show you how. I'm Kevin Bennington with your local caterer and Catering University.